Hello friends, I am Dr. Syed Khadiruddin Chishti and I am teaching physics to BSc second year students. My today's topic is bonding and band theory of the solids. Bonding and band theory of the solids. And in this uh, uh, chapter, we are going to study about the interatomic forces which exist between the atoms or the molecules of a solid. So here for our study we will consider the solids. We know that any solid consists of large number of the atoms and these atoms are occupying their own places after the equilibrium position. Now uh, when we study about the interatomic distance then we say that whenever the atoms which are in equilibrium there is some distance and that distance minimum distance between the two is no two atoms is called as the interatomic distance now what will happen if we study the nacl crystal nacl uh, molecule nacl molecule then there is interatomic forces between the sodium and the chlorine atoms and uh, when the two atoms which are separated by a large distance suppose there are two atoms which are separated by a large distance then the potential energy will be will decrease and we say that the potential energy of the system tends towards the zero but as these two atoms are coming together then these two atoms will come together and there is the attractive forces and we say that the potential energy will gain or will increase and the potential energy of the system changes. So here we have to understand about the two types of forces which are acting on the molecules that uh, attractive forces and another is the repulsive forces. Suppose there are the two atoms or the molecules which are moving towards each other because of the attractive forces because of the attractive forces and the potential energy will be inversely proportional to the uh, interatomic distance r is to m okay. so we say that because of the attractive forces the two atoms are coming close to each other but when they come close to the close to each other then at the same time when they are very close to each other there exist a repulsive forces small repulsive forces will develop and this repulsive forces will slightly repel the atoms and equilibrium is obtained means first the atoms are coming to close to each other and then after coming close to each other there is slight separation between the two atoms and this distance become constant forever and that distance is called as the interatomic distance okay so here we have to study about the potential energy which is stored by the atoms or a system when they are in equilibrium so we can say that there are two types of potential energy one is attractive potential energy u attractive and another is u repulsive so sum of the potential energy attractive plus repulsive and we know that if the potential energy is inversely proportional to minus r s to m minus r s to m it is attractive and u repulsive is proportional to 1 by r s to n when where m and n are the arbitrary constants so uh, now here uh, introduce a constant and you say that u a is equal to minus a by r s to m plus and u r is equal to um, b by r s to n where a and b are the arbitrary constants so total energy u is equal to minus a by r s to m plus b by r s to n now when there is equilibrium this distance r will be equal to r0 and at that moment we can say that du by dr 0 should be equal to 0 means the energy will become minimum first energy increases then decreases and at equilibrium it becomes minimum means dr by when r equal to r0 du by dr0 is equal to 0 means here we have to differentiate this equation with respect to r0 r so we can say that du by dr 
is equal to when I differentiate it minus m a upon r raised to power m plus 1 because we know that a is constant and here r raised to m will come into the numerator I will write here r raised to m will come into numerator minus m I will, I will differentiate it power times 1 less than original power and it will become minus m r raised to power minus m plus 1 this minus m plus 1 will go in the denominator become r raised to power m plus 1 so it will be minus m times minus m times a by r raised to power m plus 1 so this is the this is the value of uh, minus a by r raised to m now i will write here for b by r raised to n i will differentiate it so it will become minus nb upon r raised to power n plus 1 so it will become minus and this minus will become plus m a upon r raised to power m plus 1 minus n b upon r raised to power n plus 1 where a b m n are the arbitrary constants okay now at equilibrium at equilibrium i will write here when r is equal to r0 du by dr0 is equal to 0 so I will equate this equation to 0 means m a upon r raised to m plus 1 r 0 raised to m plus 1 minus n b upon r 0 raised to n plus 1 should be equal to 0 or we can say that m a upon r raised to power m plus 1 should be equal to n b upon r0 raised to n plus 1 okay. or I will find the value of r0 raised to uh, r, I will take this r0 to this one r0 raised to n plus 1 upon r0 raised to m plus 1 equal to n b upon n m a n b upon m a okay. Now what will happen here? It can be written as R0 raised to n into R0, R0 raised to m into R0 that get cancelled equal to n by m into b by a, into b by a. Okay. So we can say that R0 raised to n upon R0 raised to m is equal to n by m into b by a or r0 raised to m by r0 raised to n means reciprocal equal to m by n into a upon b now what i will do i will find the value of r0 i will find the value of r0 here from here r0 raised to n okay so i will write here r0 raised to n should be equal to r0 raised to m into bracket n by m into bracket b by a now i will substitute this value of r0 in the in this in the first equation means in the equation of the total energy and that equation was minimum energy u minimum is equal to minus a by r0 raised to m plus b by r0 raised to n so i will substitute here the value of r0 raised to n here so it will become minus a by r0 raised to m plus b by for r0 raised to n i will write r0 raised to m n by m b by a okay and you will get here the minimum energy is equal to a by r0 raised to m i am taking as common this b and b get cancelled a will go in the numerator and here you will get m by n minus 1 so this is the minimum energy of the system minimum potential energy of the system at equilibrium thank you